Hey, you kids, get off my lawn. It's me. I'm back, the cranky old man. Do you miss me? I missed me, and I missed you, but I haven't been around because I haven't had anything to talk about. Well, okay, I did have stuff to talk about. Unfortunately, everything I wanted to talk about would have gotten me kicked off Facebook and possibly thrown in jail, so I decided to stay back and keep my damn mouth shut for a change. But the wife took me shopping. That's right, that's right. She finally took me out in public. She broke her own rule. We went out. I found all sorts of cool shit. I found some Ozzy. I found some blood good. That's right. I said blood good. Or blood rock. I'm sorry. I found blood rock. Not blood good. Blood good's a different band. But I found this band blood rock. We'll talk about them in a different video. I also found a Wonder Woman that, you know, we'll talk about as well, the old power record. But I wanted to talk about the big find that I found, something I never thought I'd find out in the wild, and that was this. Iron Maiden's 40th anniversary, Number of the Beast. Yep, it's still sealed. I haven't even opened it up yet. It's a three-disc set, and it's got the, the remastered Number of the Beast with Total Eclipse. Now, for those of you that don't know, the song Total Eclipse was a B-side to Run to the Hills. But it wasn't supposed to be a B-side to Run to the Hills. The song Gangland was supposed to be a B-side to Run to the Hills, but apparently... When they were putting the album together, Total Eclipse wasn't ready yet, so they used Gangland instead. Yeah, I know. It's confusing and a lot to unpack. But when they, re they reissued this, the original has Gangland on it. It's been replaced with Total Eclipse. So Total Eclipse is on here instead of Gangland. And this has... Beast Over Hammersmith, this three-disc set, has Beast Over Hammersmith. And Beast Over Hammersmith was the live recording done, I think, two or three days before the album's release, or something like that. But it's sealed, and I thought we'd unbox it together and take a look at it. Let's see what we got. I got my trusty opening tool. Guess it ain't that damn trusty, is it? Come on. Damn, more surplus forks? Come on. Ah, trying to be careful. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Gonna take it apart. Trying to save the hype sticker, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh, look at that! Look at that! And I can take the hype sticker and I can throw it inside the box or wrapper or whatever it is. Thanks again to my handy dandy opening tool. Anyway, here it is again. You're seeing it before I am. Look at that. That's a picture of Eddie and the devil over the Hammersmith Odeon. There's plenty to read. So those of you who know how to read, go get you one and read it. I know I will. As soon as I figure out how. Let's see. Now, oh, this is the first, the first uh, record. 
number of the beast proper. Look at that. Now you'll notice something on this. Get this album back in here. This picture is a different picture. This is supposed to be the back the back cover of the Number of the Beast album. But it's a totally different album. Let me go get it. Just wait right there. This is the original number of the beast. That's what the original cover looks like. That's what the that's what this one looks like. It's a little different. But not much. And then on this side, you got the band as they were starting up. This is the first year with Bruce Dickinson. You might say it's Bruce's maiden voyage. Ha ha. See what I did there? Maiden. Get it? And then this is probably disc three. It's got the Iron Maiden. It's got all the, all the stops on the tour. got the band it's got the set list let me get on my cranky vision so I can read this thing here all right you've got um, for the live album beast over beast over Hammersmith you got they're, they're playing murders in the room morgue Wrathchild Run to the Hills, and Children of the Damned, The Number of the Beast, Another Life, Killers, 22 Acacia Avenue, Total Eclipse, Transylvania, The Prisoner, Hallowed Be Thy Name, Phantom of the Opera, Iron Maiden, Sanctuary, Drifter, Running Free, and Prowler. And this was, um, the disc for that. Yeah, from what I understand, going back to the gangland thing, the band didn't even like the song. And I guess it was just thrown on there, because like they said, Toad, they, they just said because Total Eclipse wasn't ready, whatever that's supposed to mean. And then this is the disc in the center. Facts about the band. Some pictures. Eddie on one side of Hammersmith. And on the other. Now, how does it sound? I have no damn idea how it sounds. Not a clue. I haven't even listened to it yet. Hell, you just saw me unbox it, so be a little patient. 
tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to listen to the whole thing. And then I'm going to let you know. So all you damn kids that I said, get off my lawn. Well, just hang around on the curb for a little bit. And I'll come back and let you know what I think. <laughs> all right, kiddies, I'm back. See, seconds for you, hours for me. You see the sacrifices I make? Anyway, I listened to the whole thing, and I got to tell you, it's really, really good. But, okay, first of all, I was looking at the back covers of these. Remember I was telling you these were different? Well, I'm told they're different, but I don't see any difference. Might be on the original cover, though. I've got a reissue. I think this is like 2015. Um, so maybe that's the case. But anyway, we'll start with the Iron Maiden proper album first. So I listened to all of this, including the live, and I'll get to that in a minute. The Iron Maiden proper album, it sounds good. But you know what? This one sounds good too. As a matter of fact, I took a few minutes and just played a couple of tracks off each just to compare and they sound about the same. So, you know, if you just want the regular Iron Maiden out, the just the album, you know, it might be better to just spend the $20 rather than the $59 because it's going to sound the same. You're not going to get anything different. The only thing different you're going to get is, again, this one has Total Eclipse on it, which the band wanted it released that way originally. This has Gangland on it, which was the way it ended up being released. And apparently, reading the liner notes, it got released that way by accident. They just... They picked the wrong one. So it's them correcting their mistake on this reissue. So whichever one you want, they both sound the same. They both sound very good. Now, let's talk about the live stuff. The live things, apparently the, it's it's a very good studio, it, well, studio recording, right? It's a, it's a very good live recording. It really does sound good. Apparently this was going to be filmed um, but Iron Maiden wouldn't release it because it was too dark. They just, the, not the content, but the, you know, the show, um, cause you know, 80s technology, but, uh, they ended up releasing it, you know, I mean, in archive footage. So it exists out there someplace, the videos, um, but the audio was, is from that. And again, the show was two days before the album was going to be released, so nobody had heard any of the new material yet except for Run to the Hills. Uh, Bruce Dickinson was pretty much an untried singer with that band. Uh, nobody had really heard him, and they'd been around for years with Paul Diano before that, so there was some, some trepidation there. But um, it sounds good. I think Bruce did did a very good job on the songs uh, with from the Killers album and the Iron Maiden album, as well as the stuff from Number of the Beast. The band sounds exceptionally tight. I think that you know you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't pick this up. You know, if you're a Maiden fan. I mean, I really think that, you know, even if you just wanted the regular album, I think that it would be worth the extra money to get it. I think it's a great album. I think you're going to enjoy it. And again, you know, what, $54 for a three-disc set? And with the material it's got in it? Yeah, I think it's a pretty damn good deal. So get out to your store. Go to your online outlets and get it any way possible. Until next time, you damn kids, get the hell off my lawn and have a nice day.